Okay, well, it's kind of crazy windy here today. Yesterday it was only sort of windy, so this isn't going to be the best test, but I wanted to do some video showing how we're doing with face flight on here now. This is almost all stock settings other than, uh, of course, I've enabled one shot, and I have uh, my rates up to bit. But this is uh, BL Heli 14.2 and base flight on the uh, Emacs Nighthawk Pro. Uh, let's make sure here, this is set up with PID Controller 1 right now. And it really feels good on this. I've got my nice yaw. Oh, this wind is brutal right now. I do have my rates turned down just a bit from where I normally have them, and I haven't recalibrated the ASCs yet. We're running uh, 1950 instead of 2000 on my max throttle, so I really should increase my uh, max throttle or recalibrate my ASCs. I'm just being lazy. Ooh, this wind. This is throwing me off big time. See, there's a little bit of wobble on that yaw, but not a whole ton. I think it's mostly the wind right now. Let's see how PID 2 does. This is where I'm having my issues with PID 2. And of course, we're all in acro mode here, because acro is fun. So now we're going to, same settings, only we're on PID 2, and I think I have the rates just slightly lower on here, because PID 2 just felt really unstable to me yesterday with the rates I was running. So let's get him over here. Yeah, this wind is really <laughs> messing with me, but... Let's, uh, maybe I have the right tires. <laughs> it's, because it's really feeling pretty good here on PID 2. Oh, the battery's starting to sag a bit. So, it's not too bad here. Ooh. Okay, now the big problem I'm having here with PID 2 is, whoa, wind, 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 messing with me. Here's the big problem I'm having with, yeah, blah, blah, blah. reset the mouth. Here's the big problem I'm having with PID 2 is yaw is really messing with me. Yaw, oh, wind, don't blow me that way. Okay, here's what's happening with my yaw. See how it just yee, and then after it's not responding right after that kind of yaw move, it's uh, unrecoverable basically. It it gets all wobbly when I give it a fast yaw, and then uh, it just doesn't act like it's responding. It's almost like the sticks get backwards after a fast yaw. So, I, I'm really not happy with the yaw on this PID-2 controller. I'm not sure what it is. I, I, again, you know, we have pretty gnarly winds here today. See, a nice slow yaw, no big deal. But I don't like slow yaws. I like fast yaw. And if I do a fast yaw, that time it, it held in somewhat decently, but it still gets really wobbly on those fast yaws. There, you can... Oh! Yeah, and that that's the same kind of maneuver I was doing on PID-1. Let's switch back to PID-1 here. Same kind of thing on PID-1, I don't have problems. There's a little wobble, but not much. I'm wondering if my P-gains might need to come down a bit on yaw there. If it might be... Uh, but I don't know, it's... something's causing it to really wig out on me on...
battery's loose. So, you know, overall I'm really liking the way base flight's, or not base flight anymore, uh, beta flight is feeling on here. I, I'm definitely calling it an improvement overall. But I'm just not a big fan on yacht on PID 2 right now. And I want to be. I like floating point PID controllers. I love it on tile. And I, I've wanted to see Lux on here since before uh, when it first came out for base flight. I thought it was a great idea. But I don't know why it's doing what it's doing for me right now. Oh. There's my battery. So let's bring it in. Nothing like flying in a nasty little wind tunnel. So we're getting there. It's uh, flying a hell of a lot better than it did when I first got it. I'm really happy with it so far. And uh, was hoping to do some FPV this morning, but in the wind, and uh, I got some stuff to do around the house here. So, there's our little test video of uh, Betaflight running on uh, the uh, Nighthawk.